the channel. It is another brand new week of exercise workouts. So this week it's going to be all about EMOM, every minute on the minute. So today it's going to be upper body. We're going to have six different exercises performed for a certain amount of reps done during that one minute time period. So it's going to be set, rest the rest of that minute. We're going to do that four times through for each one of those six exercises. So today it's all going to be dumbbells and body weight. So let's go ahead, let's grab our dumbbells and here's your preview for exercise number one. So all right, you guys have seen the preview for that first exercise, blast out push-up. It's going to be 12 reps. Once you're done with that, we just get to march in place, kind of jog in place, pretend jump rope for the rest of that one minute, and then let's right back down for another 12 reps, and we repeat it four times. So let's go ahead, let's turn on our timer, and let's get this upper body EMOM party started. Let's get in that good position. Here we go, down and up. You go at the pace that works best for you. Come on, you got this. Down and back. Come on, you got this. All right. We've got just over 30 seconds. Let's just top it. Just think, three more times like that. Then we get that 45 seconds in between to watch the next preview, grab our next set of weights, and get ready for exercise two. So okay, we're just at 10 seconds. Let's get back down into that good start position. Once again, we're going for 12. You guys ready? Here we go, down and back. You got this. Strong core, good push with that upper body sitting into those legs. Come on, you got this. Breathe it out. Come on, you got a couple more. Awesome job. So once again, We get to tap it, keeping moving. We're not just standing there. We're not just sitting there like a bump on a log. We want to keep moving. Keep that heart rate up. 10 seconds. You ready? Let's get back down in that good start position. Let's go. Down and back. It's a big explosive movement, forward and back. Come on, you've got this. Awesome job. Whew. Just think, round three is done. We've got that 30 seconds. Just tapping back and forth. Then we get to do it one more time. Really take full advantage of that time left. Take that good deep breath in. Shake up the arms. One more time. Round four. You ready? Here we go. Last 12. Come on. Down and back. Really sit it back into those legs, into that chest, and triceps. Strong core, come on. You've got this. Give me a handful more, let's go. Awesome job. Whew. Let's tap it out. Let's just jog in place for the rest of that time. 
After this, 45 seconds to watch your preview. Grab your next dumbbells. And we go all over again for four rounds. Five seconds left, come on. So, all right, EMOM one is done. Here's your preview. And time to get set up for EMOM number two.
You got it. All right. Imam 2 is done. Here's your preview for number 30. Okay, so we have about 35 seconds left. This time there's going to be those Arnold presses. We're going for 12 reps during each one of those minute circuits. So I'm going to be using my 12s. If I feel like they're too easy, I may go up, I may stick with them. If you feel like you need less, you choose the weight that's going to work best for you. So we have right about 15 seconds. Remember, at the end of each one, once you finish those assigned reps, we just keep moving. Let's grab those dumbbells. Let's get in that good start position. Elbows are in, palms facing in, strong core as we go up and down. Come on, you got this. Out and in, breathe it out. Come on, you're looking strong. Give me a couple more. Keep it in the shoulders, keep that back tight. Core nice and strong. And of course, we tap it out in between. If you want to jog, you can jog it. If you want to jump rope in place, whatever you want to do during that extra time. If you feel like it's too much with your double, go ahead and take that single one and we'll do a bicep curl overhead press. If not, we're going to stick with those bilateral Arnold presses. Bring those arms up. Strong core, strong base. All right, give me 12. Come on. Up and down. Biceps, triceps, shoulders. Let's go. Come on. You got this. Breathe it out. Let's go. Give me a couple more. Nice and strong. Bring them down. Whoo! Once again, let's tap it or jog. This is looking so good. Just think we're halfway through. Emon number three. Are right, feeling fantastic yet? Feeling amazing. Feeling strong. We got seven seconds. Let's grab those dumbbells once again. Let's bring it up. Number three, you ready? Here we go. I know those shoulders are starting to get tired. But always remember, form and technique. Keep that strong core, especially as we go over. Let's go, come on. You've got this. Give me a couple more. Breathe it out. Let's go. Those shoulders are getting tired. Let's tap it again. You guys are looking so strong. So amazing. We've got 15 seconds. Shake out those arms. Okay. Last one. Round four. Let's go. Let's bring those dumbbells up. Let's get in that good start position. You guys ready? Let's go. Up and down. You got this. Breathe it out. Come on. Reach it up there. Pull it in. Up and down. Give me just a few more. Come on. Nice and strong. Come on. You got this. <laughs> Bring those down. Let's tap it once again. Whew. I know those shoulders are really starting to feel it. So we're going to tap it in place for about 20 seconds. Let's take it up a little bit. Side to side. Keeping that heart rate up. So once again, it's almost time for your preview and time to grab your next set of dumbbells for EMOM, number four. So 
here's your time. Take your sip of water, grab the preview, and let's get ready for EMOM number four. So, okay, you guys have seen the preview for EMOM number four. Those twisting bilateral bicep curls. I'm going to be using my 12s. You choose the weight. Once again, that's going to work best for you to where you can keep that good form and technique for all four rounds. So once again, we're going to go for 15 reps this time. So we got just under 10 seconds. It's going to start as that hammer curl. Let's get those feet nice and in line. Core engaged. Here we go. Elbows in. Shoulders down. Squeezing those biceps. Come on. You got it. Controlling that motion up and down. Even though it's a little bit of pace, still think form and technique. Come on. Breathe it out. Awesome job. So once again, 30 seconds left. Let's tap it. One down, three to go. With 20 more seconds, let's kind of pick up that pace, side to side. Keeping that heart rate up. Focus on that breathing. Shake out those arms. We got about five seconds. Let's grab those dumbbells. In our good start position. Come on, up and down. Give me 15. You got this. Keep those elbows in. Come on. Oh, give me a handful more. Come on. Awesome job. Yes. Let's tap it out. Once again. Shake out those arms. I know those arms are starting to get that pump. They're starting to feel heavy. But you guys are looking so strong. All right, we got 10 seconds. You ready for round three? Okay, let's go. Let's get in that good start position. Nice, strong base, strong core. Elbows in, shoulders down. Come on. You got this. Breathe it out. You got it. Let's go. There's no stopping you. Squeeze those biceps. Keep them in. Let's go. I know they're getting tired. You can do this. Let's go. Whew. Biceps are getting pumped. They're feeling strong. They're getting tired. Whew. We are working on this fantastic Monday morning. So let's shake out those arms. Take that good deep breath in and out. All right. You ready? One more time. Here we go. Come on. You got it. It's our last set. Let's go. You got this. You're halfway there. Let's go. Bring them up. Remember, if you need to, if I start to get too much, take it into your singles. But still do that same amount of reps. Come on. I'm going to go one more. Just for good measure. Bring those down. Let's go ahead. Once again, let's just tap it side to side. Our quick little shuffles. Forward and back. Side to side. Keeping that heart rate up. We're under 10 seconds. Then E on four. Is that we only have two more? Awesome job. So, all right, four down, two to go. Here's your preview for EMOM, number five. Oh, 
Okay, if you've seen the freebie for EMOM number five, our bear crawl rows. I'm going to be using my 15s to start. If you feel like you can't keep your hands on the dumbbells, you can always put your hands on a pair of yoga blocks or a small bench and alternate with your rows that way. So we've got just about 10 seconds. We're going to bring it down onto that tabletop position. Let's tuck those toes. Let's bring it up. All right, 20, alternating. Come on, you got this. Really squeeze up to those ribs, pulling back with those lats, with our rhomboids. Come on, you got this. Breathe it out. And of course, in between, we bring it up. Let's tap it. Shake out those arms. Shake out those legs so those quads are going to start to feel it as well. Especially for these last two. Remember, like I said, if you need to modify at any time, please modify. If you need to bring it down onto the hands and knees, bring it down onto the hands and knees. If you can't keep that bear crawl position. All right, here we go. Come on. You got this. Let's go. We're doing 20. Come on. Let's go. Come on, you're looking strong. It's going to be eight burpees. 
If you feel like you want to go up to 10, absolutely go up to 10. If not, we are definitely doing eight. Once again, if you need to modify, put your hands on a bench or on some yoga blocks, please feel free to do so. So we're just about 10 seconds. You guys ready? Four minutes of hard work left. You can do this. Let's go. All the way down and up. Come on. You got this. All the way down. Up and up. Let's go. You're looking strong. Let's go. All the way down. All the way up. Come on. I'll give you one more. Just for good measure. Let's have it. All right, 30 seconds. I won't lie, the bear crawls are going to work hard, but the burpees, they're going to take the cake. It's going to be a whole body to finish off. E mom, upper body. So, okay. Five seconds, you ready? We're doing eight. Once again. Come on. Down and up. Little hop. Let's go. You got this. Come on, we're halfway. Down and up. All the way down. All the way. Come on, give me two more. Let's go. Awesome job. Woo! 30 seconds. Tap it out. We are halfway through our last Imam set. Just think. Two more rounds. Two minutes. Then we get to cool down. Alright, we're at 10 seconds. You guys ready? I know we're breathing hard, but you've got this. You can do it. All right. Let's go, come on. Down and up. One, let's go, come on. Two, let's go. Three, come on, we're halfway. Give me four more. Four. Three, come on. Two, last one. And one. Tap it out. Woo! Yeah, buddy. The heart rate is up. Three down. One to go. So let's tap it out. We've got 20 seconds. Really take those good deep breaths in. Try to let that heart rate recover. Okay. Last eight. You ready? Let's go. Come on. Here's eight. Let's go. Seven. Come on, six. You're halfway. Give me four more. Four. Three. Let's go. Two. Last one. And one. Top it out. Let's keep moving. We'll pick up the pace. Just a little. We've got 25 seconds. Come on. You got this. Upper body imam is almost done. After this, we get our little sip of water. We put our equipment away. And we get ready for the cool down. Come on. Imam, upper body is complete. Awesome job. Put away your dumbbells, grab a sip of water, and come right back here for our cool down and our stretch. Okay, you guys have accomplished first workout of the week. Let's just go ahead. Let's take those big taps. 
side to side. Really letting that heart rate come down. Letting that respiration start to slow as well. I know those last two were really hard, but you guys did so spectacular. And we're so super strong. Let's go ahead, let's bring those feet apart. Take those hips side to side, deep breath in. And exhale, keeping those knees soft. Inhale. And exhale. Since we did a little bit of that jumping, let's just bring it down. Let's just stretch out the legs. Let's stretch out those hips, keeping that chest nice and upright. Continuing to take those really good deep breaths in and out. Let's go ahead and switch it over to that other side. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Trying to lengthen each breath a little bit longer than the last. Let's go ahead. Let's bring it up to the center. Let's bring those feet together. And let's just reach it down towards those toes. Let's bend the knees just slightly. Let that low back stretch. Let's walk it out to that downward dog. Let's open up those shoulders, press those heels down. Lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Trying to be as long as you can be from your fingertips all the way to your tailbone. And from your tailbone all the way down the hamstrings. Since we did that jumping, let's go ahead. And let's just pedal those feet forward and back. Stretching out those calves. Stretching through the ankles. Through those plantar tendons. On the bottom of our feet. Let's press both heels down. Let's bring it out to our plank. And from here, let's bring it all the way down. Let's bring it into our baby cobra. Just onto our forearms, palms facing up. Our hands are nice and relaxed. Our chest is open, shoulders down. Long neck. Keep those shoulders down and away from our ears. No sinking down into them. Just letting that torso stretch. Let's bring the palms down and let's straighten out those arms. Take that good deep breath in. And exhale, let's bring it back down. Let's bring those hands right in line with our chest. Let's sit back hips to heels, just like our blast out push up. Really lengthen from the fingertips all the way down through the shoulders, through the lats and rhomboids, all the way down that low back, all the way down through the pelvis. From here, let's take our hands all the way to the right side of the mat and let's let that left side stretch all the way down that left side, all the way down through the ribs, all the way to the top of that hip. Let's take that good deep breath in. And exhale. Let's walk those hands over to the left side of the mat. Letting that right side stretch all the way down that rib cage. All the way down to the back of the hip. And you may notice that you have one side that's a little bit tighter. And that's why we do these good unilateral stretches and make sure that each side gets a stretch evenly. Let's go ahead and bring it back to the center. Let's bring it back onto that tabletop. We're gonna bring it onto our knees. Let's go ahead, bring those arms back, open up the chest, open up the front of the shoulders. Keeping that low back nice and neutral, no arching through that low back. Just let that chest open up. It definitely worked. Let's take a good couple deep breaths in and out. That heart rate should really be starting to come down. The respiration should almost be back down to where we were before we started working out. Let's go ahead, let's bring that one arm across. Stretch out that upper back, stretch out the back of the shoulders. Once again, 
Just taking those good deep breaths in and out, keeping that back nice and neutral. Make sure that we don't start to get lazy through that core and we're not arching, we're not slouching. Just sitting up nice and tall, good neutral spine. Shoulders down away from the ears. Let's bring that other arm across. Let's stretch it. Let's take two good deep breaths in. And exhale out. One more time. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Let's go ahead and take those arms forward and back. Just getting everything moving. Let's go ahead, let's take it into our tabletop. Let's tuck those toes back into our downward dog once again. Really opening up those shoulders. From here, let's bend those knees and let's just ragdoll it over those knees. Relax the arms, relax the shoulders, relax that upper back. As we inhale, let's roll it all the way up. And let's reach those arms all the way up towards those ceilings. And bring them down and exhale. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. And you guys are done. Amazing job. Awesome way to start the week off with that upper body EMOM, which means next time it's going to be lower body. So as always, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think. And until next time, peace.